On January 18th, several popular websites blacked out in protest of a law being considered by the U.S. government. Dan Crittenden has this report. The Stop Online Piracy Act, or SOPA, is a piece of United States legislature designed to fight online copyright infringement on a global scale, in a way which forces the Internet to ask the question, what does the future hold? The Internet is really a place where you can go and just really do whatever you want, and I guess, you, yeah, you're losing that right. SOPA was a bill introduced into the Senate of the United States, uh, essentially really uh, putting limits on what people can do online. It was essentially meant to stop copyright infringement. The problem was it was so broad in its definitions of what was against copyright and what the actions that could be taken against people who broke copyright that, for instance, someone could upload a single picture on a website and the whole website could be taken down. It's too ambiguous. It doesn't specifically address uh, some of the copyright concerns and I think if they do leave it uh, too broad when they put it forward it could potentially allow uh, allow the government or different groups to censor things that maybe they didn't set out to um, in, in the beginning. But it is a worldwide effort right now to stop this pirating thing that they're saying is hurting all these people but really it's it's not. There's a lot of artists out there who don't agree with SOPA either. They think if people are enjoying their music like that's the point of sharing the information. On January 18th, hundreds of websites across the internet, including Google and Wikipedia, censored their content to raise awareness of the bill. Wikipedia alone estimates that more than 160 million people accessed their website during the blackout. Yeah, the day that you know everyone was protesting SOPA, Wikipedia went down and a couple other major sites went down. Um, me and my team who make the videos, we kind of decided, you know what, we should probably do something. What can we do? And really the only thing we can do is kind of privatize our videos. Um, so we did that. And, you know, it's not, a, it's not as big as Wikipedia taking down all their articles. But, you know, we still have a quarter million views for three videos. So it's, it's still substantial. And I think, I think it's, it's kind of sad that, you know, the bigger YouTubers that, you know, do this for a living didn't, didn't do anything. Because it's really going to affect them. We're all kind of citizens of the Internet. And uh, people don't realize how big of a part of life it is now. And um, these things won't stop people. They're still going to keep introducing these new bills, trying to have these kind of broad standards. And um, it's not the solution. There is a solution, but it's not the solution. Only two days after the blackout, SOPA was put on hold until such a time that a more publicly agreeable solution to the issue can be found. This is Dan Crittenden for NUTV News.